Dance People. Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I'm here with my, bu my buddy Derek. We drove up to the Christiana Mall in Delaware to check out his stuff, but uh, there's really a special purpose why we're here, and I'm going to let Derek go ahead and tell us why we came up here and meet today. It's a nice day, so I'll turn it over to him. All right, thanks, buddy. Hey, my name is Derek DuBois. Um, so I I had a big uh, big announcement for Aiden. Uh, I, I texted him on Instagram. I said, hey, um, what would you like for Christmas? And I kind of already had in my mind what I wanted to do. And I was just surprised him with a KM 110R. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. We, uh, we get the idea. Um, I appreciate it, man. That means a lot. It's going to be a great upgrade from the Ryobi I have. And, um, you know, that thing, uh, it was 100 bucks from Home Depot. It works, but, you know something else being able to switch attachments be way more versatile with it so yeah and that's the thing you know um being able to be a little bit more versatile and be able to use it for more purposes other than strength trimming just arrive arrive he's not gonna be for yeah. you yeah not at all so it's anyways um uh, i figured i'd mention while we're here how did you get started in the business i mean i know a lot of people have already heard how i got started but it's, it's good to hear how other people get started so i'm curious so I started in 2015. Uh, I started out with some family friends and uh, a couple other clients, and basically I started doing chores for them. Um, basically worked my way up. Um, I got this piece of, you know, worked up equipment by equipment and started with a little push mower, a little hand blower, mm -hmm. and a little trimmer. Obviously, you know, did my little thing and um, made stuff look clean. If you remember Geek to Free Fitness, if mm -hmm. you want yeah. on YouTube. Um, yeah, that's, you know, kind of what started it. You know, it just became a hobby and a passion, and um, I just kept on rolling with it. So, you know, turned into this, and here we are today. Yeah. So, two questions: What area so, are you servicing, and what kind of services do you offer other than mowing? Okay. So, um, I service the Kent County area. Okay. So that covers uh, Milford, Camden, Wyoming, uh, Dover, mm -hmm. uh, a couple other of the surrounding areas. Uh, what services do I offer? I offer just about everything except for hardscaping and snow plowing. Okay. I don't offer that. Um, just hardscaping's out of my realm of knowledge uh, and snow plowing trucks not set up for snow plowing right. but everything else um i can pretty much do or know how to do or get somebody uh, right in line. so you can do mulching tear outs um yep. you know any other push trimming that kind of stuff yep. all the basics yeah the basic stuff. that's awesome truck now they're in the bed of his truck he's going to be adding uh trailer racks come soon i know that was one of the plans he's got for business but other than that what other plans do you have for your business this year um definitely uh, becoming licensed through the state um it's just time to keep on moving move up and um try to get my license part of my business license um other than that um i'd like to go come from 15 accounts up to 20 accounts uh that's weekly service mowing um, other than that I'm doing what I'm doing and keep rocking it out. Absolutely, that's that's awesome. So, all right, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop uh, up into the front of the truck bed. We're gonna check out some of the hand tools he's got. Right now, he just has. Oh, we didn't even mention what you have in here. So you have. Uh, you want to tell everybody what you got going on here? Sure. So in the back, uh, back left hand corner is a Craftsman nine and a half horsepower, twenty nine inch snowblower um, that I picked up uh, off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, on the right side is a Simplicity single stage snowblower. Uh, again, picked up on Facebook Marketplace. Um, just picked them up, picked it up real cheap, fixed it up. Uh, hoping to resell it here soon. Um, possibly make it to this guy, who knows. <laughs> but yeah, if anybody's in the area of him and you're interested in a two stage, uh, Six si stage. a single stage, two cycle simplicity um, snowblower. snowblower, hit him up on Instagram. I'll put his Instagram up on the screen and uh, yeah, let him know. If he's yeah. interested in selling that one, get rid of it. Anyways, what are you running for a mower? Uh, the, the mower's a 2010. Toro 48 inch walk behind. It's a belt drive. Um, it's paired with a nine and a half bushel um, grass catcher by Packham. Okay. Um, I have a sulky on the back, uh, just a basic sulky. Uh, other than that, run high lift blades and mulch blades in the fall. And then uh, you have another mower at home. So what are you running? That that mower can't be here because it has a dead battery. But what is that mower you're running? Yep. There? So that mower's a uh, Kubota 60. Um, it's a residential zero turn. Uh, 
basically just got it off my grandfather and uh, rock out with it in the rock out with it in the springtime when we're heavy and mowing. Uh, when the when the um, sorry when the uh, Tora can't keep up, mm -hmm. um, we rock out the Zora Kubota. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Tora Kubota, whatever it is, we rock out both mowers. Uh, all right, guys, let's jump outside and check out uh, all the hand tools. So we're checking out his two blowers. These are the two he's actually running right now. Uh, you want to tell us which ones you're running right now? Sure. So right now I'm running the Echo uh, PB8010. I just picked this up uh, in the middle of November uh, for fall cleanups. Uh, my two BR600s weren't cut in it, so I still have a BR600, and I, I still have the other one. To replace this. I got this on sale at Home Depot for $5.99. Um, brought it home, put it together, and I'm rocking it out now. Love it. Absolutely love it. Don't regret it at all. Uh, the other one's a BR600 uh, by Steel. I got that uh, when I first started my business, uh, really in like 2017. That's when I picked that up. Um, actually, as a birthday present to myself. Uh, the little handheld blower wasn't cut in it, so I picked it up and I'm, I love it. It's a good starter blower. Um, doesn't have the power as the Echo 8010, uh -huh. obviously, but um, it's good for mowing. You know, you it's can good for mowing. Uh, you can tie it in. You can. You know, run it on your mow. You're just blowing grass off and stuff. So right, right. It's easy to use for that and stuff. Yes. Uh, guys, check this out. If you look in the back of the truck, there's tons of hand tools to check out. So what we're going to do is change the camera angle, and then we will get back in there and check all that out. All right, let's do it. We are checking out his trimmer setup right here, and he's got a head trimmer on the end. Right now, we are, looks like this is mine. This is the KM111R. Right now, we just have the trimmer attachment on it. I am going to be picking up some more attachments for that. Probably in just a few months. I probably won't even wait as long. This is the Echo, what's the 2620? 266. 266. Okay, this is, uh, they don't make this model anymore. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, and this is just a straight shaft trimmer. Next, moving on, this is another combi system. This is the Steel KM10 110R which is the kind of, this is the replacement trimmer for this model because I'm pretty sure Steel discontinued this one. So these are pretty much the same model. Right now, we got the pole saw attachment running on this one. There are a few other attachments we'll go over in the, um, in the back in a minute. We got the uh, Echo SRM 225. That is just a straight shaft, another trimmer right there. And then the Steel HS56. And this is Steel's, one of Steel's commercial line um, head trimmers, right? Correct. Right. And so, when you're trimming bushes, how do you know, like, when do you decide if it's right to use your combi system with a trimmer or that? Or do you not use the combi system on little bushes, whereas so, this will get on a taller bush? Right. So, uh, the combi system I normally run is on the bigger bushes, the, the bigger shrubs, um, that extend, you know, normally over six feet, something like that. Um, on the smaller bushes, you get the, you get the HS56 out and it touches them just fine. It's a little bit easier to maneuver than the steel um, KM110R with the hedge trimmer. Um, so the 56 is, serves that little purpose mm -hmm. uh, just to get your angles and your bushes cut just right. So like, do you, you don't normally run three trimmers for grass cutting, do you? No. So um, the normal two that I run for grass cutting is the 266 and if I have another guy with me, the 225 down there. Um, the KM110R sometimes comes with me, sometimes not. It just depends on what I have at for the day. Um, so, steel versus echo with your trimmers, what do you prefer? Honestly, that's a hard question. Yeah. Uh, I get that a lot. There's pros and cons to both, don't get me wrong. Um, but all the units are great. But obviously, they have their you know, pros and cons and disadvantages. Uh -huh. um, I, I mainly picked them out for uh, my purposes. I was looking for a little stronger stronger trim, st string trimmer, so I picked that up. Uh, obviously, I needed a multi-tool attachment, uh, and then the 225 I got for free, so okay. off of the client. So that was just given to me, um, but I mainly stay with these these couple um, just for my purposes. Mm -hmm. I like it both. I just say there are pros and cons to both. Yeah. But, but that'll be nice when you're able to put all three of these in a trimmer rack versus have it ride in the bed, you know. Yeah. So uh, actually in the springtime, I am going to be installing the uh, green touch trimmer racks. Um, so I'll put everything in, the, in my racks um, inside the trailer. Mm -hmm. So that'll take care of that. Yeah. 
So. All right, now what we're gonna do is take and swap these two out and bring up some of the combi tools and check out what he's got. So what we did is we left the two combi systems up here, the ones that can run these attachments. These are the attachments Derek has. Uh, he may be adding more attachments. I know I'm definitely gonna be adding a few of these. I don't know which ones he wants. Anyways, you wanna tell him which ones you got here and what the purpose is for each of them are and what you do with them? Sure, so um, first is the uh, string trimmer attachment for the combi, obviously. String trim, this uh, can't reach with an hour. Second is a sidewalk edger. Um, I use that on my overgrown edges, mainly. Uh, Sorry. I don't, normally, I don't normally use it for weekly maintenance, as you can see, I changed my blade. Uh, don't use it for my weekly maintenance. I use my string trimmer. Uh, the next is a hedge trimmer attachment. Um, and paired with that is the extension to that um, to get up to the high voltage. Uh, for for sure. Now, is this the regular hedge trimmer or is this that uh, 145 degree one? It's the 145 degree hedge trimmer. Um, and the last one you see is the steel combi bed redefiner. I um, love that. It's great for making redefining the bed edges. Um, you do have to go a little slower if you're making brand new brand new bed edges. For sure. The only dis disadvantage to it. Um, other than that, I love everything here. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, these are my workhorses. This is, you know, it's made me. Yeah. Um, separates me from my competition. Yep. Um, not a lot of people have this kind of stuff. So mainly what I'm going to be picking up, I think, for this one, is I got the head trimmer on it, or the string trimmer on it now, and I think this attachment's going to be one of the first ones they're going to get, and this one's going to be one of the first ones they get. Anyway, guys, that's really all I had to show you guys today. We're just wrapping up here. Um, I really want to thank you again. This means the world to me. No problem. Uh, you, you don't know how much it means, but I mean, it's crazy. It's going to be a game changer. I hope you guys enjoyed following along, just checking out some of the stuff he had. Um, a little bit different of a video, I know, but uh, it's good winter content. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. Hit him up. He's happy to answer questions. But with that, I'm Aiden from Amazon Landscaping. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace. <laughs>